Okay, well, I uh, pushed the start button yesterday and got uh, started down this track, so let me continue. I uh, might as well get it out of my system. I'm talking about money, a subject that I, uh, I, I'm averse to. But let's talk about it. Um, this time I want to talk, yesterday I talked about uh, some a little money advice. Hard to believe money advice coming from a guy like me. I'm more experienced at losing money than uh, gaining it. But hey, maybe that's where the source of the, uh, of the uh, ideas come from, from uh, how I've lost all that money. <laughs> now let's turn instead to the, uh, another topic, the uh, consequences of wealth. And what I mean by that is, um, what, what experiences can I share from my experiences with uh, wealth? Yes, believe it or not, uh, wealth has entered my life um, one time mildly and one time greatly, and uh, has also consequently, subsequently left my life. So uh, I, I like to share with you um, some observations from that, ex that experience. First of all, um, Having enough money to not worry about much of anything. And that has happened to me once in my life. Uh, uh, career decisions led me into a, a place where I wound up with uh, more money than I knew what to do with. And uh, I found lots of things to, to try to do with it. And uh, what, was, what was that like? Well, there's two things, two observations that I'll bring from that. The first is that uh, having a lot of money... <clears throat> In, in terms of a mental state, I'm not, I'm not so concerned about the temporal world around us. I'm really always concerned about what's going on in here. Having a lot of money did uh, one major thing in my life, and that was it reduced the worry that I had, the daily worry about paying the bills and having enough money for an emergency occurrence. Um, also allowed me to uh, enjoy a lot of the uh, pleasantries of life, to indulge in purchases. If I wanted something, I just went out and bought it. And if I wanted to enjoy some some aspect of life, I just did it. That was a very uh, what was that? That was a very uh, liberating and uh, especially relaxing experience to not have to worry about bills. And that was a very big plus. Uh, and I I wouldn't mind enjoying that again. <laughs> okay, now what about the other part of life? What what, what other experience did I have from it? Um, <clears throat> having a lot of money also had a very negative side. And I know that people can talk about, whoa, look at that sunrise. Isn't that pretty? That's very nice. Isn't that nice? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Having a lot of wealth didn't make a, a bit of difference on enjoying a sunrise, that's for sure. Okay, but now what was the uh, negative thing that I'm referring to? Well, let me, let me start from not having any wealth and work my way back to it. When you don't have a lot of money and life gets tough, talking about this up here stuff. Now, when life gets tough, one of the things that we can do is we can blame our lack of money <laughs> on our dilemma and say, if we only had more money, if we only had a better job, if we only were a little freer, we would, uh, we would not be unhappy. And it, it gives us a place to hide, in a way, from our troubles. Let's go up this way. And uh, when we can hide from our troubles, we don't have to face them so much. We need, it's, it's, it's something, there's something powerful in being, uh, in being uh, sequestered away from the, the source of our trouble, because we, we're basically hiding from it. And when you, when you don't have a lot of money, you can do that. You can say, it's, I'm not happy because I don't have money. That's what it basically comes down to. But when money comes into your life, and that event occurs again where you're not happy, you can't blame the lack of money for that. You have already exhausted that because you've got the cash. So what are you left with then? Well, then you have to push further and deeper into the heart of life's bigger questions about why you may not be happy. And that, that is challenging. So what am I saying? Am I saying pity, pity the wealthy, they, uh, they can't hide in their poverty? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm simply saying that, that uh, when, you have a, when you have a lot of resources, it opens, it, it removes one layer of protection, of, of, of one, one mental shelter, it removes a mental shelter from our, our availability. And we may have to face uh, bigger problems and if it's a per a big, bigger issues. And if you're a person that doesn't want to go there, that can leave you in dire straits you can basically feel that you have no other course to go. I mean, I remember back in, in my 20s when I was rock solid, busted, broke, and I wasn't feeling happy, that I would say, hey, if I just save some money up, I can be happier. And I would labor towards that and think, if I just got that, I could buy that surfboard, and then I could do that, and I could have some fun. And then later when I had that money, <laughs> and I'd say, oh, if I just go out and buy a new surfboard, and i go out and buy the new surfboard, and it didn't make a darn bit of difference, then where are you left? 
So watch it when you uh, aspire towards wealth as a solution and an answer for uh, life's dilemmas. It will indeed give you uh, respite from the troubles of uh, paying bills and the day-to-day -day concerns of emergencies and the like. That's a fact, and it's a, good, it's a very good thing. And you've got to guard that cash to make sure that you continue to have that, that asset. But uh, don't look to wealth to give you uh, the peace of mind that only comes from deeper inquiry. That it has to be faced at a different level. And uh, having wealth may uh, put you center stage on that theater and uh, give you an opportunity. Actually, it's an opportunity, in fact. Wealthy people have a great opportunity insofar as being removed from that source of protection and having been thrust out into an area of speculation that uh, may yield some interesting uh, results. And there you go. My observations from the experience of having of losing, of not having, having, losing and not having money. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day.